much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rush would just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Jarek McKinnon, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the 49ers drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Gold with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Gold now out to kick it away. Returning it, Carlos Henderson. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10. Back in his home state, Royce Freeman getting the carry. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. to the 33. He lost four there, and it's third down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Throwing on third. Gone. DeForest Buckner able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Marquette King to punt it away. The speedster Dante Pettis back deep to return. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and ten. They go play action here on first down. To the right side, caught by Salah. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Now Garoppolo throwing on second. A dump down to McKinnon. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. He lost two there. And it's third down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read. Better execution. And done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way. Ran to the football. And caused a nice play for lost yardage. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives them the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That could really, really be demoralizing. Garoppolo now, first down throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, hey. You got three. Come back. Now the fullback, use check. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. 
after a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Call it a gain of 10, and they pick up the first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Second quarter now. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis with you. Garoppolo in the offense with a first and 10. And he's now 10 of 10 throwing the ball here to start the game. They run it with McCammon. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down, here's Garoppolo. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Brandon Marshall. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Gone. And that's complete to Gates. Stay on his feet. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change right. situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, looking to catch him off balance. And he did. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Freeman. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Denver has a first down on the 15-yard play. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. This is Freeman on first and 10. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half. And some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. He's got his man on the crossing route. That catch good for five. It's third down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. On third down, that's Freeman. A great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Freeman again, a first down carry. And a short gain here down to the 22. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Off play action. Here's gone. That is caught inside the five. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Jake Bunt, his second touchdown on the season. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying the football game.
down here, Brandon McManus for the point after. Extra point from McManus is good, and we are tied at seven. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Here's Dante Pettis on the return. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. Garoppolo again here on second and 10. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Give him three on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Steps away to his left. Now he'll let it go up. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the corner, Bradley Wilby. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Not the best of plays there as a quarterback. You're right-handed, rolling left, trying to throw it that far downfield. I remember a coach of mine saying, son, that's the equivalent of trying to get the car keys out of your pocket with your opposite hand while you're trying to run. You just can't do it. After the interception, here's gone. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And just shedding him off there. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Out of the gun. Gone. That's caught left side by Jake Butt. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. to play in a tightly contested first half. My good friend Charles and I right back at you after this. Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. A shotgun snap for goal. And he fires one, but incomplete. So many offense want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. And McManus able to put it through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. They got the interception, but very little movement after. And that forces them to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does. But we got to give a lot of credit where it's due. And that's to the defense. They ran onto the field. This one was a sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire. And they did, holding them to a field goal. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? 
Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys. Had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. There's Garoppolo to throw. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And that's going to lead to a third down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And able to haul it in as Kittle. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. The ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. We got three. We got 80. We got 80. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. Got his target, Pierre Garçon. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Garoppolo on first down. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to float this one deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead, a little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? McManus now for the extra point. McManus's point after is good. So we come upon halftime with the visiting Broncos taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report.
Gold now out to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Broncos' offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Goff now on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. The Broncos on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. From the gun, here's gone. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Fielded at the 20. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because Tell me. That's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go down the field and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> Sack number seven for him on the year. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure whatever the reason is. He better figure it out. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Second down, here's gone. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? 
from the gun on third down. Gall swings it out to the flat for Freeman. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. yard line. It's an eight yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And now a 10th carry for Freeman. And a solid run down inside the 30. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Freeman might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time, but you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. The Broncos on third down, two for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Here's Goff. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tough rule that they can fall back on anymore. And McManus able to put it through. And that will open the lead up now to 20 to 7. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays. Yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine play drives pay dividends later with another nine play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and ten. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, he finds Pettis complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Garoppolo to his tight end Kittle for a Niner first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. 
On first down, Garoppolo. Caught left side, Garcon. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Garoppolo now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and 10. McKenna. Now that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brandon, we're into the second half, and this offense has not scored a lot of points, and that was another example of why. I think it's time to open things up and start really trying to move the ball. On second down, here's Garoppolo. Throw right side taken in by Pettis. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. The Niners on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and seven. to throw. It's Garoppolo looking to complete it to Pettis and he's got him. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And in a two-score game, obviously every play, every third down like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Toss play to McKinnon. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guys at the cornerback position. Now Garoppolo throwing on second. Over the middle, and it's got good and complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That's the first catch of the game for Goodwin. It's a first down. To throw is Garoppolo. Got a man. Touchdown 49ers. It's Selleck. Garrett Selleck. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the 49ers are back within a score. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Gold now out to kick it away. Oh, the return is Henderson. The Broncos offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, Jesus, second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. This to me, he's got to take over right now. By word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Out of the gun. Gone. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. Goff now, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. This is Freeman. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Off 
Play action. Here's gone. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Denver has the first down. The play going for 15 yards. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route. Tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, All right cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. Freeman. And he'll be stopped up quickly here at the 38. Solomon Thomas there on the tackle. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. The throw on second down is gone. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Now a play fake, and it's gone. And this is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. So that's a big one. Obviously, Charles makes it a two-score game. His third field goal of the game, able to knock it through. Yeah, not exactly free and clear yet, but as a defense, you get to play a little bit looser, don't you? Because you do now have a little bit of a margin of error, don't you? The 49ers offense making its way back out there. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Throwing now is Garoppolo. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. Now they try to get him into space, coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's the perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Brandon Marshall. There he goes, left side. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all And he will take it in for a Bronco touchdown. Royce Freeman, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Broncos use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. So Goff will lead his guys up to the line to go for the two-point conversion. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. With that penalty, they only need one yard for the two-point conversion. And that can make all the difference trying to get those two points, right? Inches count down here in short territory. Maybe now they can get the two points that they want a lot easier.
So Goff will lead his guys up to the line to go for the two-point conversion. Goff. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth-quarter lead. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The 49ers offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Garoppolo to throw on second down. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. 11, 11. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline <laughs> the penalty, no question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Broncos are going to get the football. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Here's Freeman. And he stopped immediately there. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Two for 66! Freeman again. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Now they had stopped him for a loss on the run anyway, so they'll decline that. It's almost a good psychological advantage, isn't it? You created a penalty, and you still couldn't gain yards <laughs> against us. No way we need to take that one. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Gone. Looking deep for Demarius. And is it a touchdown? No signal. No, they say incomplete. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's four. 
So on now is Brandon McManus. He has hit from as far away as 57, but that was in Denver. They spot him on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And McManus able to put it through. And that right there is something we've seen, oh, I don't know, 15 times in NFL history. That will officially go down as a 60-yard field goal. And everything has to be absolutely perfect for this to have any chance. He's got to get it out low and really drive through it. And I tell you, that was one heck of a kick, one heck of a decision on the sideline to even try it as well. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and ten. Here's Garoppolo on first and ten. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and ten. Back to the air on second. It's Garoppolo. Complete to the right. This is Garcon. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Garoppolo on first down. He's going to let it fly. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Garoppolo looks to throw. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. They give him a gain of 37. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Play action, Garoppolo, and he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is in your ears back time indeed. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Second down play will get whistles and a timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. It's second and goal back to the eight yard line now. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover. You better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They do get eight out of the pitch and catch. However, it's fourth down. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Uh, 20. Dude. 
two. Now Freeman, he's been busy today. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. That first down run could not have turned out worse for our defense because when they came out on the field, their number one mission, keep them stacked up close to their goal line and at worst, create great field position for their offense. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a premium. They were pretty <laughs> easy to come by. They were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in.